Well, I made it to Lone Pine, up 395, and it's uh, Friday morning, August 26. They use this area, in the old days, you know, making old western movies and that, they used a lot of scenes here. They even have this film museum. See, they're going to have the Lone Pine Film Festival, October 7th, okay? And uh, even old TV shows that are westerns. You ever see that old uh, Lone Ranger show? You always see that in the background when they're riding around that Mount Whitney up there. So, uh, pretty historical place. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to two new AMRA claims. And uh, I'll tell you about them in a second. Show you the town a little bit first. Lone Pine Rocks and Gifts, Rocks, Minerals, Gems, okay. So the first claim I'm going to try to find, it's a few miles out of town, is the George Creek number eight. Check that one out. Then after that, I'll come back towards Lone Pine again. And there's a Lone Pine number two claim. Let's see if I can find that. And primarily what I'm doing on this trip is uh, just making, doing more prospecting, I guess you'd say, than mining probably. I uh, want to see exactly what the, you know, get the layout of the land and uh, see what can be used up here. Sounds like you could use a dry washer if it's dry enough. And uh, so certain times of year there's uh, water running, so probably nothing right now. Anyway, that's uh, what I'm going to do. So I'll probably just bring some buckets of dirt back, maybe do some sampling while I'm there. I have a little water, I could uh, pan out some stuff. Well, I don't know if I was on the best possible road, but I couldn't make it. It was too soft. I got actually got stuck. I, <laughs> it's a miracle I got out of it. I don't know what I'm not going to do. I'm way back in nowhere. Nobody's going to know where I am. There's no cell, you know, service. Anyway, somehow I said a prayer, <laughs> and I got out of that so far. So I thought I'd just walk away, see if I see... Any signs of any type of, uh, of uh, boundaries here, clay markers, anywhere in the distance? Well, there's George Creek down below, and it is running. I think, according to my GPS, probably I need to be on the other side of this. Now, I did see a road that actually crossed through the creek. I don't know how stable that is. I'll, I'll go drive down there and check it out. If I can cross over to the other side, maybe I can get to where this claim is. I don't see any claim markers over here. But my uh, GPS says the claim's still a quarter mile that way. Okay, let's go. I may have to just end up going and trying the other claim out and then coming back here next time with my Jeep. That's probably what I'll have to do. 
already already kind of ripped my rear bumper halfway off so anyway that's the way life is some days It looks like I could make it, but I don't know if this road's going to take me where I need to go. Hmm. Okay. I'll give it a try, I guess. Now, this is just getting me farther away, so I guess that original road I was on was the one. So, we'll have to get out of here. Save that for another time. So if you're coming to the George Creek claim, there is plenty of water in the creek. That's a plus. This is one of the primary reasons why I came by myself today. Uh, I wasn't sure if I'd even be able to get to these places and once I got there, if I'd find any gold. So. I don't want to disappoint other people. I can live with it myself. It's kind of like an adventure, you know? And uh, a little exploratory the first time to figure out whether you're going to come back again or not. So, anyway, that's why I'm by myself. Up here in Lone Pine, this stretch of this uh, George Creek, the city of Los Angeles owns it. So it must have something to do with uh, the water rights. Okay, we're going to go up to uh, Lone Pine number two. It's supposed to be on Lone Pine Creek. Uh, and it's a very busy area because a lot of it's the portal to Mount Whitney, so you got hikers all over the place. And uh, it's supposed to be a paved road all the way, then you have a little hike, short hike, to get to the claim. So this one sounds a little easier in my scion, I think. And back to Lone Pine, little town, lots of charms, their motto. Here's the grave of the 1872 earthquake victims back up in there somewhere. A couple miles up from here is where Manzanar is. That's where the uh, United States government interned the Japanese during World War II. Oh, it says they're working on the road. Could be up to a 30-minute delay. That's no fun. That is no fun at all. Let's hope uh, they'll leave me alone. They let me through Alabama Hills Recreation Lands area. I hit it just right where I made it through the other end. So, see what happens when I come back down. I've been up this way before, but not looking for gold. Just wandering around. What a breeze this road is compared to the last one. Of course, you know how it goes. The harder it is to get to a place, the more gold there usually is there. Easy access means either it's all gone or there wasn't anything to begin with. <laughs> we'll see. Well, here's where I think I gotta go. Gotta take a hike over that way. And uh, hopefully there's some claim markers someplace. Got the GPS here. Well. There's a little thin up here, not real bad, a little bit high up. Okay, I think I hear, I thought I heard water maybe on the other side of this hill, not sure. Okay, I just gotta get over there without getting, running into a rattlesnake or something. Let's see, how am I gonna do it? 
Yeah, there's water way down there. I'm not sure. Let's see if that's the creek we're talking about or if, or if it's this dry creek over here. Let's see. The GPS kind of shows it being maybe over here. Although the south southwest corner still shows it being down there. Uh, let me think about this. There's no way I could haul anything back from down there. If I could just see some claim markers. Northwest corner seems to be up here. So I may have to work this section today because my car's way over there. So uh, it looks like I got 192 feet to go, so it must be down by that tree. I think I might see a claim marker right up on the hill there. I'm going to head up that way. Calculations are correct. That should be the northwest corner, if that's what that is up there. Well, everything's worn off of it, but obviously this is it. Yeah, it's all worn down, all the writing. Okay, so I got the one corner here. So I'm assuming that the eastern corner is way over. Maybe it's, it might even be on the other side of that little ridge there someplace. You got the creek in the middle here. I'm not going to go to all, go down the creek. It's a little precarious. There's probably an easy way to get down there, but it'd take a while to figure it out. So I'm just going to work what's up this way more this time. Probably when I come, I'll come with a few people, you know, it's the safety factor that way. All right. So that's what we got. There's a post. There's my car way over there on the other side of a couple of gullies and the road and so forth. Yeah, beautiful view here. Well, this gives me an idea what I'm going to need for my next trip. I'm going to have to bring a backpack, maybe a little fold-up sluice, a fold-up shovel, that kind of stuff, to hike down to the creek, get all the way down there. So that's what I'll do. This time I'll get some a few samples here and there. Well, I've got my dirt all loaded up. Now the odds are I'm not going to find anything, <laughs> you know, because I didn't go all the way down to the bottom where the creek is. I just, I was just part way. Now the only thing that would be in my favor is many times the gold you find down by the creek washed from right from the bank, but way up high on the bank somewhere. So if I just happen to be in the spot where gold was washing down from, then maybe I'll find some. But in all probability, it's probably washing down from way up there somewhere. Let's head back home and then check out the dirt. Okay, here's Movie Flats, it's called, the plaque says, Since 1920, hundreds of movies and TV episodes, including Gunga Den, How the West Was Won, uh, Kyber Rifles, Bengal Lancers, and High Sierra, along with the Lone Ranger and Bonanza, which stars as, you know, all the different people, were filmed here in these rugged Alabama hills with their majestic Sierra Nevada background plaque dedicated by Roy Rogers, whose first starring feature was filmed here in 1938. So, like I said, if any of you ever seen any of these reruns of these old TV shows like Lone Ranger, which, you know, the acting's kind of corny, but it had some pretty good moral values for kids. And, uh, anyway, this is where it was made. Hey, Kimo Sabi. 
I just did a little pan and there's a speck there. So I'm not going to show, sometime in the future I'll show what I got out of this stuff. I just got a lot of electrical problems to deal with right now at my house. So I, I just was kind of eager to see if there was anything. So I just did one pan. So maybe in a week or two I'll post up what I did. Decided to do one more pan, kind of a bigger pan. I don't know, it's so dark out here, you probably can't see it. Maybe there's a bigger piece.